Welcome back to Math Boys and Girls. Today our focus is Lesson 13.1, Tell the Value of Coins. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to repeat after me, I can identify coins and tell their value. Okay, so that's going to be what we're concentrating on today. We're going to be talking about all the coins, what their names are, and how much they are worth. What is their value? Now, as you can see up here, I also have a giant dollar bill. A dollar bill is not a coin. It is paper money. It is worth one dollar. And you can see money always tells what it's worth on them, and it has ones in the corner. A five dollar bill says five dollars and has fives on it. The front of a coin or a dollar bill has a face on it. And we're going to start by looking at the penny. Now I've got some giant ones. I did ask everybody to see if mom and dad could give you a handful of coins. I'd like you to work at home with me today, okay? So if you brought some coins, you may get out your penny right now. And through the magic of video, I have a huge penny, all right? The front of the penny has a face on it. The back of the penny has a building, okay? The front, because it has a face, is called the heads. The back is the, the tails. Good job, head, tail, all right? Now, as you can see, Abraham Lincoln is on our penny. He was our 16th president. Now I'm gonna show you something very interesting about the back of the penny. This is the Lincoln Memorial that is located in Washington, D.C. Now I'm going to zoom it way in, and do you see what's right in the middle of the penny? Do you see that Abraham Lincoln is sitting on that big chair right smack dab in the middle of the penny? Just like you would if you went to Washington, D.C. Now you might have to get a um, magnifying glass to look at the back, but every penny that has this picture on the back also has President Lincoln sitting right there. Now, as you can see, the back says one cent. Our dollar says one dollar. Coins usually say what they are worth, okay? Now, I'm going to go to the next coin that's of value. I'm going to pull out the nickel. Okay, a nickel, and we always have in God we trust on the coins. The front has a face, which is the heads, and the back. And this one also, the nickel has a building. There are some new nickels that have different designs on the back, as well as pennies. All right, the front is Thomas Jefferson. He was our third president, okay? And you can probably tell that he's, it's an older, older president because he's still got the ponytail, doesn't he? On the back is a picture of Monticello, and that is Thomas Jefferson's, that was his home, and it is still in existence. You can go visit it. It is located in Virginia. Also on the back, do you see where it says five cents? So if you ever get mixed up, all you have to do is read your coin and it will tell you how much it is worth. Okay, so we've already done the penny. Now we have the nickel. Now do you see the nickel is a little bit bigger than the penny? Okay, all right. Now we're going to go to the smallest one. The smallest coin is called a dime. It is worth 10 cents. The heads of the coin is actually Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He was our 32nd president. 
and he was president four times before he died. Yeah, that was a long time. People loved Franklin Delano Roosevelt. On the back, you will see this one says one dime. Mm. So this one, they're not giving us a hint, are they? We have to just know that a dime is worth 10. Okay, heads and tails. Our next coin is also a silver coin, quarter dollar. That means it is a quarter, but you need four of these to equal a dollar, okay? And do you notice the gentleman that's on the front of our coin? Exactly, good boys and girls. It is George Washington. He was our very first president. And on the back, we have one of the symbols for America, the wonderful, powerful, bald, Eagle, United States of America, and again, quarter dollar is on the back. Now, I'm going to put these in my hand, and I'm going to show you. They don't really go in order of value, do they? The dime is not the least. The dime would actually go back here. Five, one, five, ten and 25. Okay, I need everybody to pick up their penny. There is something, another thing very, very important about our coins. Pennies are kind of thin, aren't they? Now I want you to rub your finger around the edge. What does it feel like? Absolutely, it is smooth. Now pick up your nickel. Is the nickel thicker than a penny? Yes. Now I want you to feel the edge. It is smooth. Okay, let's pick up the dime. Now the dime is little itty bitty, but if you only had one in your hand, you might think you have a penny. But now I want you to feel the edge. Ooh, it is not round, is it? It's got little tiny lines pressed in. It's got a serrated edge. Now I want you to pick up your quarter. Ooh, the same thing for the quarter. It is not smooth, is it? It has little tiny lines and grooves so that it gives you that little tiny bump feel when you're feeling your coins. So if you're ever reaching down in your pocket do you know that you can tell your coins apart by just how they feel? All you have to do is feel the edge. You know a nickel is different from a quarter because of how the edges feel. That's, I just threw that one in there. Your book did not tell me to say that. All right, let's go back to our math. A penny is a coin. It has a value of one cent. How many pennies are in a dollar? Now I'm going to write a dollar up here, okay? One dollar. A dollar sign is an S with two lines. Then we put the number one dollar, okay? Now we're going to do a one cent, five cents, ten cents, and 25 cents. Okay. So we can push that a little bit over. Okay. Let's start with the penny. How many pennies, if they are worth one, how many pennies would you need to get a dollar? Now look at the number. Now I'm going to do something. I'm going to just erase that little dot right there. Hmm, yes, this is actually, one dollar is actually worth, which means it's the same thing as having 100 cents. But nobody says 100 cents. We always say one dollar. Do you see how the numbers look exactly alike except for the decimal point? So how many of these 
could be in there. How many ones are in 100? Oh, I heard Elijah. You are correct. There are 100 of these in order to get a dollar. So if I took 100 pennies to, the, to my bank, they would give me one dollar. Let's go to the next one. A nickel is worth five cents. How many five cents are in 100? Ooh, who knows a good way to do that? Daphne, how would you do it? Good girl. She would count by fives until she got to 100. Okay, I'm going to try it. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Now we're up, to, we did it 10 times already. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Now we did 15 fingers. We got to keep going. 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. How many fingers? Exactly. It took us 20 times to count to 100. So how many nickels would I need to get a dollar? I would need 20. Now I'm going to write 100 above my one cent. Now we're going to go to the dimes. How many dimes would you need to trade to get that one dollar? Remember, dimes are worth ten. All right, and I'm going to call on Eleanor. Eleanor, how would you do it? Good girl. You already knew that one in your head, right? Ten tens are one hundred. So I'm going to do it on, I'm just going to do two hands, okay? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I used all my fingers. And she was absolutely right. There were 10 dimes in a dollar. Okay, now we're going to go to the quarter. Quarters are 25 cents. How many of these do I need to get a dollar? All right, now this one's a little bit trickier because we don't usually count by quarters, do we? But it's really kind of fun to do it. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. Say that with me. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. How many coins did we just count before we got to a dollar? Correct. We counted four times to get to a dollar. Okay, I am going to let you do number one by yourself. I'm going to let you do number two by yourself. And number three is pretty easy. You're going to circle every quarter. Now they're trying to get you a little bit crazy because they turned some of them over. So you might want to use your quarter to make sure you circle the right one, okay? And how many quarters are in a dollar? Then let's go down to number four. Circle every coin with a value of five cents. What is a coin that's worth five cents? What do we call it? Good job, nickel. And how many of those are in a dollar? I'd like you to try to do the story problems on the back. Very easy. You're just going to match up the coin to the value, okay? And I would like you to do number 11. You don't need to do 8, 9, or 10, okay? but I do want you to do number 11, okay? Seven and 11, all right? Okay, we'll catch you again tomorrow and we're gonna keep working on coins and I've got some special things in your bag that we're gonna need to use this week to finish our unit, okay? Love you.